Good morning guys and welcome to iPunt Smart racing today from Scottsville course conditions good no rain in the last 24 hours two millimeters in the last seven days and the results has been quite fascinating to watch of late um, it uh, does ask for a lot of questions why the people in charge is not actually seeing what's happening because uh, it is quite blatantly obvious how it's happening um, examples like the Dean Kahnemeyer double that was uh, very well orchestrated um, examples um, of the Vaughan Marshall uh, double first Caribbean sunset um, Iris was pulled at least five times not to be uh, interfering and then uh, Mirage was kept behind Caribbean Sunset just so that the double with Go Lightly can happen uh, where Go Lightly uh, all of a sudden just miraculously came on the inside with Forgetful Girl was uh, made sure not to get over the line in time there's the Kanemeyer double with the Silver Maria um, and in Transvaal uh, in the exact same applied it uh, it's actually if you actually watch these races live the question remains why no one else is actually seeing it but uh, just some more examples on the on, on, on the Turfontein side where uh, the uh, the cock double was tried for a year and um, Phoenix came flying past but was made sure that he can't win so magical flight can win just to make sure that Terry gets the double on spring break and then yeah Mike the Cox stable make risk taker was uh, allowed to win so that the double can happen with Nachi again the nest liked stable make um, but second base uh, floored that plan on the best bat figures and Nachi didn't uh, able to ex execute and get the second um, the second win for the double there um, if you actually watch it it's actually quite bad to see the state of affairs in South African racing and uh, I think form has nothing to do with it it's uh, it's more and more the intentions of form and having to see these uh, combinations pan out so let's have a look at them today um, in the first well, our top rated is Crested Eagle with Doug Campbell and Donovan Dillon and our second rated is Yaraf Singh with a 33 to 1 in Tushvir. Now uh, Tushvir's uh, 800 Scottsville form of 6.9 behind the winner versus Crested Eagle's 800 Scottsville in the same run of 7.1 behind the winner doesn't uh, have a lot between the two of them and uh, Jacobson was replaced with Godden and Yeni was replaced with Dylan. Um, so those would be my first two choices. Then the Michael Miller stablemate for the favourite Edgar Town, um, Sean Beale Royal Virtue would be my third choice. Um, and Edgar Town my fourth choice as a first timer. Don't know how good it is, but uh, the way how the stable companions has been winning when the favourite when their stablemate is the favourite is actually quite ridiculously uh, frightening to say the least so Crested Eagle, Tusvir, Royal Virtue and Edgar Town those are my first four um, in the next race uh, I, I don't really know why Cunanza is at 16 to 1 because um, considering Cunanza's 20th um, of December run of 1.454 on the bat uh, figure is by far the best in the field and uh, on top of that um, you can see that Jacobs uh, was riding in previously um, and now Jacobs is on hello tomorrow which is the favorite and then we also have English Princess um, now with blinkers and tongue ties fitted another horse that's been ridden by Hewitson Pryor same as Cunanza and now um, also ridden by a apprentice jockey claiming um, on the back. Bonanza's claiming four kilos. I don't know anything about this Ruziki um, jock, to be quite honest with you, but he uh, he doesn't have any stats whatsoever here. Um, but Garfula's been in good form, and uh, Cunanza, if uh, 
if that 1,000 meters Scott school run is anything to go by with an adjusted time of 57.68, now carrying 4 kilos less versus uh, looking at uh, something like English Princess that was carrying 54 and now 3.5 more on a 57.45 or even the favorite Hello Tomorrow, a 56.98 is now carrying 4 kilos more um, that's why you can see these bad figures of Glenanza is uh, much better and uh, 18 to 1 with 250% for a top 4 does look, look pretty decent on those kind of uh, form but like I said earlier form plays very little part nowadays in South African racing it's all about the intentions and how who's been set up to do what because it is blatantly obvious if you actually just watch how these things uh, transpire um, I'm hoping that something can be done because in the broader scheme of things I think that uh, it's actually going to lose a lot of market share if it carries on like this and uh, South African racing will soon find itself where only trainers and jockeys are fighting against each other for their money and no stakes money from the public as it carries on like this so uh, Kunanza first choice, English Princess second choice, Hello Tomorrow the third choice in this race um, and that's based on actually the data Airbus being the fourth choice, Gatsby and Randolph. Um, now, there's some interesting things happening, um, and I'm just going to point out a few of them soon now. Um, in this case, between Dylan and Randolph as the jockeys today. In the third race, we do have a greenie in the form of the kingdom, um, but I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Goff Puller pulls off the double with the final destiny. Um, and Michael Roberts and Moodley has got some really nice runners today as well and so does Dylan have some nice runners as well so the Kingdom my first choice year just based on that 1200 meter Scots will form been a lot of support 8 to 4.25 22 to 16 14 to 8 and now he's back on the same distance with the same jockey and pacifiers on um, and he's got 2.92 lengths on the data on uh, that 1200 run um, for Dylan on purple and green and Aries on the kingdom on that 20, 20th of December run where the two of them was 1.75 lengths uh, apart from one another and uh, those should be the main competitors with final destination not far behind them on the back figures on that same run he did run fifth, he was 0,3 behind, um, ahead of purple and green and uh, now Eric Nguan is back and not uh, Jacobs so he does get the two and a half kilos back up on board but uh, Eric Nguan has ridden him prior so those are my first three seven song my fourth choice um, Michael Roberts and Moodley the, uh, the others to consider Master of the North is uh, now one of only two for Hewitson in fifth place. Crusade Star, one of only two for the Nation with Randolph taking the ride is my sixth choice. They Don't Know Me, the seventh choice. And Drackery's the eighth choice. But I'm hoping the first four, The Kingdom, Purple and Green, Final Destiny and Seventh Song would be the right ones. In the fourth race, um, here we have Yadav Singh's other runner as top rated Kingsky's tune which leads me to believe that this two sphere as Yadav Singh um, is uh, something to guide on second choice Italian dynasty Goth Puller and Stradom third mystery boy Gareth on Salen Agrella fourth August Red Goth Puller and Godin and then Navarino Bay as fifth and Pratia Pride uh, on the second run as sixth coming from a long break um, has Stuart Randolph now taking the ride and could be improving for anything after uh, that one run so far so um, I'm going to go with Kingsley's tune 52 kilos only as my first choice Italian Dis Dynasty Mystery Boy and August Red the the next ones um, and perhaps Navarino Bay I've added in my bipod as well is it 7, 11, 2, 9 and 1 in the fifth race Yes, quite interesting that Wendy Whitehead has Dylan running here as the top rated and then in the next one Wendy Whitehead has Randolph running here as the top rated 
and Dylan is going over to Hill. So, between Randolph and Dylan, they'll probably decide how that's going to pan out, because Randolph then gets the honours again for Hill on See My Vision. So we have Hill and, Ran um, Hill and Randolph and Hill and Dylan um, together, and then we have uh, Whitehead and Randolph and Whitehead and Dylan together. Uh, you see where I'm going with this. Um, and then Yoga's Governor has a decent runner at 14 to 1 blinkers fitted, takes 2.5 kilos off the back, um, and also it has been gelded on Bayview Express. So that is my uh, second choice of the African Sunrise and Fight Song with Gareth Van Sale, third choice, King's Crusade, my fourth choice, and Karua Lark, my fifth choice. Um, I've gone 12, 13, 5 and 7 in my bipod with 6 in the bigger bipod um, and, those, uh, and only the 8 added for the bigger pick 6. So, I mean, it's, it's actually quite weird to think that we have Whitehead and Dylan followed by Whitehead and Randolph and we have uh, Hill and Dylan followed by Hill and Randolph. Weird. Um, anyway, the uh, sixth race, Whitehead and Randolph as my first choice, and then Hill and Dylan as my second choice, with Enjoy the View as my third choice, with Michael Roberts. Does have some good back curve figures here at the back, hidden at 10 to 1, so I can't leave him out, especially since I also have him as second rated on the next with Kalulo. Michael Roberts and Zuma, where I've made a, 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 mess, a, a note here, Kalula, very impressive debut by a nose behind Sweet Scent of Green, and will win a few on that debut. So, um, all of these are really close together. I've gone with Mindset as my first choice, as the best chance for Lizanne Forbes today, based on these kind of bat figures um, and the overall ranking. And Serena Moodley takes the right, then Kalulo, Michael Roberts and Zuma with the 4 kilo taken off the back and the best bats. So you have two Roberts here with bat curve as the best on Enjoy the View, followed by Kalulo as the best bat curve on um, the next race. So uh, Michael Roberts could be trying for the double on that as well. Um, and then Ishnana, Tristan Gardens taking the ride on Ishnana at 16 to 1 where the stable mate is 5 to 1 on Winchard Chill. We look at good Tristan Gardens 25% to win and 37% chance to place on uh, with Golf Puller compared to Winter Chill on a 0 and a 0 and a lifetime of 3.2 and 17.7 on Samuel and a lifetime of 5.18 and 23 on Godden, um, combined with the fact that Ishnana has some hidden form here on the 5.57 um, as well as the 5.5 here on the exact same course and distance where it has won previously over the course and distance twice one of them backed in from 8 into 3 then I really do think Ishnana is another runner that we can't leave behind here um, if I just compare the two golf puller runners um, against one another, then uh, the most recent form suggests that Winter Chill's a bit better on the bat figures, but looking at the older form, Ishnana's bat exact course and distance blue bat figures are obviously 5.5 versus a 12, and a 13 and an 11 versus a 20 is better for Ishnana. Um, so it's these kind of things that... Uh, is uh, being pointed out because they can really decide who they want to win and when as we could see with Iris yesterday not being allowed to win um, that was clear and obvious in the seventh race um, mindset Kalulo see my vision those are the first three um, and I and I do think I'm hoping that those uh, three will be enough for the PA um, purposes. Five, twelve, and six. And then uh, I've included nine, Sophia Aaron here, as Tristan Gardens only got uh, Patrick London got the one for the day. 16 to 1 is a nice price on top T curve, best median speed, exact distance, and form. 
Um, so another one to consider here for Sophia Erin, um, and that's actually number four. Sorry, I made my mistake. One, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven, and eight here. In the last, the eighth race, yeah, we have East Coast Star that was extremely disappointed the last time. Um, as you can see, he was the favourite at even money, and he had Donovan Dillon on the back. 1400 meters at even money. He ran so well, he finished stone last 21.7 lengths behind the winner, which was clearly nothing uh, compared to how his previous bat figures were looking. And he was beaten by Loveth London, which was nine lengths behind the winner um, versus the 21 lengths behind on East Coast Star. Um, and now Mr. Samuel has love of London only runner for Tini Prince in the race. Um, East Coast Star could win or could run last again. Um, that's the state of uh, affairs. And the third choice, Embarrass the Riches. Julie Guthro um, has the best exact course and distance, 16.23, which is just a little bit better than the 16.67 on Love of London. So that's my third choice at 25 to 1. So I have a second choice at 33 to 1 on Love of London, and I've got a 25 to 1 at third choice on embarrass the richness which is aptly named and then tostada at 3.5 andre now is only runner right is running really well for for andre now so it's definitely also a contender for me those would be my top four um and then my fifth choice is pull of africa with sola hiroshima and pacific fate my next best if i uh, look at the jockey trainer combinations here you um, can see where i'm going with the uh, campbell on crested eagle looking pretty decent here um, but in saying that at the bottom here you can see yaraf singh on his at 33 to 1 followed by yaraf singh on king's kiss tune at 6.5 looks like a decent combination Wendy Whitehead here on African Sunrise, followed by Wendy Whitehead on Hard to Play with the Dylan and the Randolph. Looks like a good combination, but they have made it difficult for us since Hill has the same two, Dylan and Randolph, that does the trick for us here on Pool of Asia, followed by See My Vision. And I wish I could see their vision because they keep it for themselves, really. Um, and then Peter Muscat has the... East Coast Star at the back here. Teeny Prinsler's only runner as uh, Love of London looks pretty good. Patrick Lund uh, has Sophia Aaron here. That's got some uh, good incentives here. Figures, uh, Mark Dixon's only runner, The Kingdom, looks good on a 2.57 here. Louis Goosen, um English Princess on a 3.5. The lower, the better, obviously. These are the rankings for each one of these indicators. Uh, this, these are a few light ones on Embarrass the Riches as well. That uh, looks pretty decent. Um, so, I think the, the combinations that I'm trying to get through, the ones that's actually looking the strongest for me, is the R.A. Hill double, the, 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 the Wendy Whitehead double, and the Yara Singh double. So, uh, to spear and Kingsky's tune could be a place double, even Wendy Whitehead, African Sunrise, and Hard to Play looks uh, pretty good together. And R.A. Hill with Pearl of Asia and See My Vision looks pretty good together as combinations. Uh, and they're using the same jockeys for, for those uh, as well. And JTR Detail, if I look at the back here, you can see there's a lot of blanks because there's a lot of first-timers in this race. Clearly, there's a lot of ones and twos on this runner, which is uh, too severe. At 33 to 1, you shouldn't be seeing so many of those. Um, so, all in all, tricky race and uh, really need to make sure that you follow the intentions um, of the racing fraternity because uh, you're trying to decipher a puzzle where they already have the key. Have a great day guys!